Hi, this is Suman Pachigula on a mission to impact 5 million lives. And uh, today I would like to discuss about uh, the analytics. So let's say we get a job and uh, it has a rate, a location, duration and everything, right? So what happens if we seem to have that job title or the uh, skills seems familiar? The recruiter thinks, yes, it is doable. And the rate, yes, it may be a best rate for me to keep some margin and give to the candidate. Or this location looks promising and I definitely can find the candidate. And at the end, when the time goes by or where the turnaround time uh, goes, the recruiter says, I mean, most of the time, if we find, we submit. If not, we did not find any candidate. Candidate didn't reply. I do not see any resumes in there. In that location, I have been to the nationwide search and everything that happens after we jump into the pond. Correct. So why don't it should happen prior to that? So before recruiter goes into the market, it's better to understand if there are a, uh, is that a candidates available in that location or what is the rate generally works in that location? What is the demand and what is the supply? So here, I would like to discuss two things. So when we have a job, we need to understand, is that a, a demand dominating location? Is that a, a skill which is in high demand? Or is that location, is that requirement, is a supply dominating? It means there are less candidates or more jobs or more candidates, less jobs, right? How we can find out? So I use generally the, the tool which Career Builder provides. It's a very useful. So here, let me take you uh, to this. So if you go to Career Builder, you see the supply and demand tab, right? You go there. And uh, so this gives us a scenario. Let me take it a business analyst with retail, okay? And uh, let me go to Atlanta, Georgia and I want to look for 30 miles. Yes, so here if you see, in this location, there are 100, uh, sorry, 801 candidates available and uh, there are 1900 plus jobs are posted. And here if you see, if we are looking for a full-time position, we can see in Atlanta, Georgia for business analyst, for people who are into six to 10 years, those fall in median candidate, okay? So median is $130,000 and highest is around $149,000, $150,000. If we are paying hourly basis, you would see. So 63 generally what works in that location and highest is 70 plus and low is 52 or anything in, in that around. So if you have a job and you need to understand which, what is the rate that you fall in, if you are below 52, you need to understand what are the struggles you may face and what kind of candidates that you need to hunt for. And uh, if you have anything on 65 to uh, 70, then you fall in this category. Okay, so there are chances that you can get candidates easily. So if we go down again, so you see where candidates work. So these are the candidates people work. So since we are looking for uh, business analyst and retail, so it's better to see, okay, uh, people working on Coca-Cola, Macy's, these are the retail industries and uh, the companies who are hiring currently in that location is Home Depot and so on. So here, this is the what I primarily use to understand what is the rate I have. And another thing I use is this. So here, number of positions posted and number of active candidates. So by December 2018, you see, right, 127 134 jobs posted in November, but 87, sorry, yeah, 48 active candidates are there. So you understand what is the, the trend of that particular location. Is that a supply driven or a demand driven? So let's go to some other uh, skill. Let's say da, 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 project manager, okay? Project, yes, this is what I have in the search project manager with cybersecurity experience and uh, yeah let's go with atlanta georgia let's see what it fetches here it is so there are 244 candidates available project manager manager with cybersecurity title 
and 682 jobs posted and this is the rate so when you have a rate job with a different skill you directly can go and use this inside supply and demand tool and you can check the rate what you have is that fair enough to the market or not when you are negotiating rate with the client you can use this tool to tell hey this is what the market is we see there are less candidates available in that market so if we need to hunt best candidate we need to pay more so use this analytics to tell your daily progress or to understand where you stand or to understand what kind of rate that you have or whether this is the location where you could able to hunt or you should go away in the first place so here project manager if we go and see new york for this project manager we have 328 candidates available in new york okay so here the cities where candidates most frequently live are new york and jersey city okay that is where you need to focus on so you will get some information from this that where exactly you can hunt and where your favorite candidates are staying at this point of time so i wish you got some insight from this and uh, do let me know if you have any other filters or any of the functions that are useful for you and uh, i would love to hear thank you very much for listening this is suman pachigula on a mission to impact 5 million lives bye bye